everyone, good morning. I'm back out here in my floating blind. I'm out here with some mallard ducks right now, and it's just barely starting to get light. It's still really dark out here, and it's uh, super overcast today. It wasn't supposed to be. The forecast said it was supposed to be sunny this morning, but it is incredibly overcast, so it's gonna be a pretty, pretty dark day out here, I think. But uh, it's just, it's good to be back out here. A lot of the birds are just starting to fly in now. And so we'll see what we can get this morning. more birds coming in. There's quite a few of them now. They're still up the river a little bit, but they're starting to make their way this way. So not too long ago, I was out with uh, these mallards photographing them, and I was able to get some pretty fun pictures, but there's still a lot of pictures of them that I don't have that I really want. So you know, maybe you're wondering, okay, if you were just out with those mallards photographing them, why don't you move on to something else? Why don't you go f focus on something else? Well, like I mentioned, there's still a lot, in my opinion, that I'm missing when it comes to these mallard ducks. They're such beautiful ducks, and uh, there's still quite a few different types of pictures that I want of them. So that's exactly why I'm back out here again. My goal today is to get pictures of them flapping their wings and uh, try to capture that color in the wings. And I was really hoping for the sunlight to be on my side this morning, but it's so overcast, I don't think I'll get that. But still, a lot of those colors, you know, do show up no matter what type of light you have to work with. So uh, that's my goal for the day, is I really want to get pictures of them flapping uh, there's this like posture that they do um, when the males are trying to attract a female to mate with them um, and I don't have any footage of it and I'm not going to try to demonstrate <laughs> what it is for you guys because I'll just look silly but uh, yeah it's this um, this little posture that they do and uh, green wing teals kind of do the same thing so maybe I'll put a clip of a green wing teal doing that here uh, but that's the same or similar footage that I want to capture of these mallards. So that's why I'm back out here again. And uh, I'm really just going to be focused on trying to capture that color in the ducks with the light that I have to work with and uh, the wings, uh, getting them flapping their wings and uh, hopefully get some of that, that posturing that they do. So that's my goal for today. I've got some ducks coming in now, so... I'm going to zip it and uh, see what I can get.
my goodness. I just saw a mink, uh, and not just any mink. This was uh, like lighter colored white mink. I've never seen that before. That was amazing. So I was photographing these ducks just out here and uh, they all went quiet just like all at once and they all turned and they started looking at this like a uh, snag of sticks and logs and stuff like a, a mini log jam. And so I, I turned the blind ever so slightly, got my camera on it, started looking out the window and uh, the ducks started making like this alarm call and uh, I saw some move and I thought it was a weasel or something at first uh, because it was lighter colored. And then um, I got my camera on it and I saw that it was a mink. That was just incredible. I've never seen one that color before. And uh, I thought at first it might be an albino mink because it was so much lighter and its nose was pink. But uh, I looked at the video and I was looking at it through the camera and its eyes are black. So it's not an albino, it's just a lighter colored mink. That just incredible, I've never seen that. So uh, you guys know how much I love mink. If you, were, if you saw my videos last summer with the mink, I just absolutely love them. They're so much fun. So I think I uh, have my next project or my next uh, goal video <laughs> in mind is going to be to try to get this this lighter colored mink out here. I was out with some dippers not long ago and I saw a, uh, a darker mink, you know, the standard mink color in the snow and I wasn't able to get any footage of it but it was just fun to see it in the snow and I went back and I was never able to find it again but uh who knows, maybe I'll be able to get this lighter colored mink in the coming weeks. That would just be amazing. I love just seeing unique wildlife like that and being able to capture it. So, oh, I'm just I'm thrilled right now. I'm like shaking, not because of the cold, but because of excitement. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Uh, I got a little bit of footage of it, like I said. Not a whole lot, though. He disappeared into the water. He kind of went in the water, um, scared the ducks away, and I just didn't see him again. I've been looking all around to see if he came up, but uh, who knows? Maybe I'll get him again. Just incredible, though. <laughs>
has been awesome. I've got the mallards starting to come back in. They're starting to settle down a little bit now and uh, just starting to rest and whatnot. But I had a group come in. I still wasn't able to get them posturing, uh, but I was able to get quite a few pictures and some more video footage of them flapping their wings. Uh, that behavior seems to be a lot easier to predict than that posturing that they do. I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but if you're ever photographing ducks and you notice that they start preening or bathing in the water, get your camera on them because they're probably going to flap their wings after that. So that behavior is a lot easier to predict than that posturing that they do. That posturing, uh, it just seems a little bit more sporadic and random. Um, so. I haven't been able to get that on video or or pictures yet, but you know I'm gonna keep working at it. And if I don't get it today, that's fine because it gives me a reason to come back out here and uh, try to get it with these guys again. So I've been able to get some really fun pictures of them flapping their wings, um, with you know showing some of the color on the wings, both the males and the females, which I'm really happy with. But uh, still working on the other stuff absolutely fantastic morning all right guys i think i'm gonna make my way back and uh call it a morning the ducks have settled down they settled down really early this morning after that mink spooked them they uh, came back and settled down so i'm just making my way out of the area so i can get out of the blind um, i'll find a spot a spot of riverbank that doesn't have any any ducks and I'll, I'll hop out of the blind and take it all apart. But, uh, you know, fantastic morning with these guys. I was able to get some pictures that I'm really happy with. Uh, like I say, with them flapping their wings. But I also got some, uh, some of the drakes, some of the males coming in pretty close. And uh, the clouds had thinned a little bit. And I was able to get some pictures of them with that green, that vibrant green on their head, just really just kind of shining. That's just really pretty. They're such beautiful birds. So uh, I'll probably come back out with them again in the coming weeks. I just really want to get some, some uh, pictures and footage of them posturing. And uh, yeah, I just, I really want that footage. But, honestly, I think, like I mentioned before, my next project is going to be that mink. I really, <laughs> really want to get some more footage and, and some pictures of them of him. That would be amazing. So, that's probably going to be my next project. And, uh, we'll be spending some time out here in the, in the cold. Not in the blind, but just along this, this stretch of river looking for him in the coming days and weeks, I think. And I'll, I'll do what I need to to find him. Just beautiful, <laughs> beautiful little guy. Um, I wish I could have gotten some pictures of him, of him this morning, but I wasn't able to. So I'm going to hop out of this blind now and uh, take it all apart before some some ducks move to this stretch of river. I don't, I don't see any right now, so I'm going to hop out take this thing apart and uh, head on home. Thank you so much for following along this week though. I know this video uh, was probably similar to the uh, last floating blind video that I, I posted be just because it was mallards for both of these videos. But you know, success in wildlife photography comes down to a lot of repetition and just constant, consistent effort on your part as the photographer. And if you've got certain pictures that you have in mind that you want to capture, you're most likely not going to get those pictures the first time you go out and try for them. So it really does come down to uh, just repetition and consistency in your efforts for photography. So that's what I'm out here doing, just trying to capture very specific pictures of these mallards. And I might have to come back out, you know, two, three, four, ten more times, I don't know, before I get the pictures that I'm that I'm after with the right conditions and everything. And that's okay because I absolutely love it out here. 
and uh, it's just it's part of the fun of wildlife photography is getting out with these animals and really trying to get the pictures that you're after with them. I've had a whole lot of fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed and uh, you know I, I love hearing about what you guys are doing out there so let me know in the comments what animals you're focusing on, what behavior you're hoping to photograph, what your goal pictures are, all that stuff. Let me know down in the comments because I love hearing about it. Thanks so much for following along this week. We'll see you next time and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon with some of that that uh, mink footage that I'm gonna come back out here, fingers crossed, to hopefully get. So we'll see you next time.